Okay guys, so this is my 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Short Travel, um, the alloy model, I've had this bike for oh, a decent, decent amount of time, nearly a year. So this is my long term review on the 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper. Um, just before we get started, um, if you have any comments or questions or anything about the bike, anything to say about it, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you about it. And the things that I've upgraded from front to back or changed is the rear tire to a Mini DHR2 29 by 2.4. Um, EXO protection. I put a nick proof ARD insert in there. I've changed the derailleur chain, obviously brake pads. I've changed the seat, the dropper post. Didn't actually come with mine. I've put different pedals on it. These Americana, Azonic Americanas. Uh, personal grips, Uri grips. And I put master link here. I put a new front tire on, a mini DHF. The Max Grip DH casing, Mini DHF 29 by 2.5, and a Manitou Machete fork. It's set up tubeless 29er. Okay, long to get along with this bike is I've actually had a really bad luck with this bike. I've had a lot of people that have um, commented on it and you know just. They've, a lot of people have got this bike and they've had no problems with it. They've ridden harder than I have. First of all, the pedals I upgraded from the stock, specialized ones. You normally do that with every bike. Put a dropper post on it because no bike needs a, needs like a normal post unless you're cross country or downhill. It's a trail bike, it's meant to be able to do a little bit of everything. Now the reason I changed the derailleur and the chain is, so I was running a KMC chain and a same SLX rear derailleur. I upgraded the chain derailleur because I got tangled in the twig. The, the rear tire I upgraded from a specialized purgatory, so it was just not grippy enough. That's, this, that's one of the downsides of the bike, the purgatory and the non-stock dropper. Um, I upgraded the grips due to personal preference and the fork I actually broke about four or three times. So we'll go from front to back and I'll just give you my opinion on every part. Uh, the Maxxis Minion DHR2, excellent tyre, grips really well, but I'm going to put a specialised eliminator on it. Uh, the rear wheel slash rim, the rims are bulletproof, I do 180s and stuff on this bike and smash it into stuff where it should have cracked and they've been awesome. The spokes are really nice. The hub has, the only problem with the hub is the engagement. Other than that, it's got cartridge bearings in it and uh, 148 by 12 boost rear spacing. It's, um, yeah, delight. SLX rear derailleur coming from a Shimano uh, uh, Altus, I think it was. Shifts amazingly. Um, the chain, XT Dior, it's pretty good. Got a big wide range cassette, which I think it's an 11 to 46 tooth. And that is amazing. It's shipped with a 180 rear rotor, Tektro rotor and brakes. These Tektro rotor and brakes have good stopping power, but they get contaminated really easy. So you have to clean them with um, methylated spirits and stuff, all I do. Um, moving up the bike, this triple chain stay design is the the chain wave thing keeps the bike nice and quiet. It's got a 30 tooth chain ring up front, which I'd, I'm probably going to change to a 32 oval, just because that's my preference, and I'll do that to any bike. NX cranks, yeah, they're cranks, they're fine. Although I've snapped the crank bolt on this side three times, the crank bolt that goes in there, snapped it three times. Pedals are good, they don't come stuck on the bike. The X-Fusion O2 RL shock is actually really good. Like, I've ridden super deluxes and everything. This thing is bulletproof, and it's got lockout, air adjust, and rebound. Uh, moving on, C-Post, X-Fusion Manic, yeah, that's good. 
The Specialized Henge, see the came on stock on this, was absolute delight of the post, a um, seat I mean, except I bent it, I'm not exactly sure how that happened. The frame is awesome, light and snappy, easy to manual and wheelie, pretty light, stable, nimble, trail eating machine. The bars, yeah they're just bars, not much to say about them, 780 wide. Sorry about that guys, my phone just rang. So yeah, back onto it, it's a, I think it's a 40 millimeter stem. It's pretty narrow and lightweight, it's a nice stem. The bars are bars, they're nice, they feel really nice. Drop post lever is good. The brakes are good for entry level brakes. I actually don't mind them, a lot of people don't like them. It's your personal thing though. S like shifter, it's a shifter. Three grips, excellent. Manitou Machete Forks comes with the RockShox Forks. I don't like the RockShox Forks. Don't have any trust in the RockShox. I'm sorry if you like RockShox, but I don't like them. Manitou Forks feel amazing. 203 road up front, and the wheel is dead straight, same as the rear. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um, the bottle cage, obviously, is Topic Ninja. Yeah, I would recommend this bike to anyone actually. Like it eats down hills, it pedals amazingly well, rides skate pipes well, dirt jumps well, everything well. See you I'll see you guys in the next video and go buy yourself a stump jumper. Please like, subscribe, share with your buddies, comment, don't hesitate to comment and yeah, catch us.